so much. Well, it's the month of February, and uh, you know, February is a love month. That's why we are featuring all these couples in Lou, man. Shows of love, man. <laughs> and, and as has become the tradition, we're going to introduce um, the first of the two parts. You know, we know the better half very, very well. You know, we all know him. But uh, we're going to meet her and then eventually get her to introduce him for us. So in the meantime, put your hands together, show some love, and welcome Ajoa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Ajoa, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank good, to, you. good to have you here. I'm You're looking happy to be here. Sparkling. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's in the house. We're going to be talking to her, and later on, she'll introduce him. Stick around. We'll be right back. Hi, it's so Chiamme Kwame, the rap doctor. This is my amazing wife, Annika. You know, and we are live on the KSM, KSM show. show. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for oh, happy. So, so good to have you here. Happy to be here. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Our pleasure. Our pleasure. So what have you been up to? We, 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 we just want to find out more about you. For a while now, I, I was in school. I went to do a second master's in international development studies. Mm. What was the first one in? It was international affairs. Okay. Okay, that was about 15 years ago. Wow. So after a while, I, and I, pra I practiced um, HR for 12 years. Mm. Then I wanted to do something different. So I went back to school to get a second master's um, in international development studies. I completed in November. Mm -hmm. And so I'm back and basically unemployed. <laughs> 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 yeah, but for now, I'm for just now. Enjoy, yeah. enjoying yeah. my kids since I've been away for a while. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you're looking for something uh, HR related or going back to the international where, where's your love now? Where, what would you rather? I love to travel. Really? Yes. So I would want something that gives me the opportunity to travel. Mm. So I want something that has international exposure to it. Mm. Yeah. So mm. that, that's where I'm looking at. Traveling as a, being, being located in a foreign country or mm. travel as in every month there's some place else to go and Yeah. Just keep going traveling. to different places, learning about their culture, looking at their styles and and things like that. So mm. not being stationed in one place because then that would be like just being home. And what's, what's your family background? I'm asking because you know how, I don't know whether it's true or rumor, mm. but I was chatting with somebody and I said, oh, I'm getting, oop, I almost mentioned the name. <laughs> 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 and and um, I'm getting his partner mm. and he said, oh, okay, okay, okay. Wow. She comes from a very rich family. I said, oh, really? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought, I was told, you know. Then it's said, yeah, then they mentioned a particular brand that apparently belongs to your family. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. You have to tell me because I don't think I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure this is news to my dad. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to mention the brand because I'll be giving them publicity, especially when it's not true. And you can tell me after the show, but yeah, I have, oh yeah, but that's I have no idea of oh. such a brand. No, I'm from a moderate family, mm -hmm. I think, I would, I would like to say. Um, I grew up mostly with my dad. I'm the first of seven children. Seven. Yes, but of course, um, we weren't all in the same space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But really, that said, it's just normal childhood, I mm. think. Oh, okay. Well, I was, I was told otherwise, you know, how you have to be careful when you're sourcing information. Because the person was talking with Vim. This I would like to know, but off air. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'll tell you. <laughs> off air. Okay, okay. So, um, by your mom is. My mom, um, okay, my parents weren't together when I was growing up. Okay. So I stayed with my dad and then mm. went on vacations to my mom's. Oh, okay. Yeah, so um, best of both worlds, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah so, but yeah. she's, both parents are alive. Mm. Um, and. I have a good relationship with both of them, actually. Fantastic, so, yeah. fantastic. And without mentioning his name, um, when, when did you connect with him? Oh, this was, I must have been in Form 5. Oh, really? A very long time ago. Really? Yes. Um, we met under bizarre circumstances because I'm, 
when I was in boarding school, my, um, the kind my dad drops me in school, then he picks me up, meet him and everything. Then mm -hmm. one time I'm told that, the headmaster calls me and says, your dad says you should come home. And as a student, I didn't even know where to get a car from. <laughs> so I went to the uh, town train station and I got my tickets. I sat on the bus. And then this gentleman comes to sit next to me. Mm -hmm. And I said, hello. And he didn't even say anything. Oh, wow. Oh my God, this guy, this guy, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> was he famous then? No, or? he was, he was oh. nobody. <laughs> In fact, I was the famous <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, so um, we got to Kaneshi and we had to get off. And then one, the old man sitting next to him was like, schoolgirl, help the schoolboy because I think he had an injured uncle or something. Okay. So when we got off, I asked him where he was going. And then we put him in a cab. And he asked for my address. So there was this lady selling br um, bread. We took a piece of her paper because it was tea bread. And I wrote my, address, my yes. school address on it. And that was it. So a week after, I would go back to school and I get a letter from him mm. saying, thank you, blah, blah. Mm. And I wrote mm. back. And mm. then one thing led to the other. And, and so that's how and we met. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's how we met. That's how you met? Yeah. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. So how long after you met did they make his move was very gentle and subtle? Or I think um, a, f a couple of exchanges of letters mm. and then we grew fond of each other. So it, it, didn't, it wasn't really a proposal okay. per se. It kind of it just came, grew. Yeah, yeah, it grew. It became yeah. natural. And so we started going out. I think two or three years later, I could say, okay, we were exclusive or whatever. Okay. Yeah, so okay. then, and that's, and that was just the beginning. Wow, <laughs> that is great. So at this point, I'm sure everybody's wondering who is this guy we're talking about. So I'm going to give you the, the honor or the pleasure right. of giving us the honor of introducing him. Who are we talking about now? We're talking about um, the actor... Producer, film director, Van Vicker. Praise the Lord. All right. <laughs> Got it. There you go. There you go. Oh. Van. How are you doing, man? You're the man. No, no, no. I was the man. <laughs> I was. You're now, still the no, man. No, no, no. You guys took over from me, man. <laughs> took over from me. But, wow. Great story, man. And um, but in the bus, you didn't quite pay attention or you were just... I, 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 I went to play a basketball uh, tournament mm. and I got injured. Okay. Um, the other side of the story is, like she was saying, it was kind of... Say it was, uh, it was a mysterious meeting or it was a destined meeting because I got injured and I had to go home that day. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted to go home that day. And I went to the dispensary. I insisted going home. And the nurse was like, no, mm. go tomorrow. I went to see my housemaster. I'm like, my leg is really hurting. I need to go home. He said, no, no. go home tomorrow. Mm. And it was that tomorrow... Mm. I got to the bus station, and that was in Cape Coast, because mm -hmm. I wasn't in fancy when she was at Agri. Mm -hmm. And at the bus station, just when I arrived, the, the, the bus I, I was hoping to get on would just left, because mm -hmm. they just took the last passenger and just left. Lift. So okay. I was like, oh man. So I have to go in this new bus and wait and wait for it to get full. And I got in, and there this lady was sitting at my favorite spot. Which is? Back row by the window. Oh, that's your favorite spot? That's my favorite spot. <laughs> so for me, I thought, what is she doing in my, I mean, this is a fresh bus. Yeah. Why is she sitting there? <laughs> what is he doing on my seat? Yes. So I, I, what I decided, I, I went to sit um, at the very last row in the middle, hoping something would happen. But people kept coming in, so eventually I had to shift and shift, and I sat next to her. Mm. But my leg was pounding, so I don't know. I, I probably wasn't myself. So when she said hello, I, I'm, I'm, I didn't even hear it. I'm mm. not sure. Did I hear it? Yeah, I'm not sure I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh she, she, she left something out. You offered me, uh, was it a gum or toffee or something? Oh, um, it was hacks. Hacks. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And I, and I said no. That was when I said hello, but I gave you that. I right? turned it down. I said, no, thank you. You <laughs> Oh, you didn't take the house? No, I didn't. I said, no, thank you. Were you that, in pain or you're not I, interested? I was in pain. That was one. Uh, and but I had taken your seat. She took my seat. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> so that was a problem. I she was sitting at your seat. I, I, I don't know. For some reason, I don't know why I turned. I told her later on, I don't know why I turned it down. But I placed my head on the back seat, on the back seat of the, the, the one in front of me. Mm. And I kept thinking, why did I say no? Wow. Why didn't I take the ask? I mean, mm. what, what's, what's the harm? Mm. Mm. And I was trying to figure out how could I make it up to her? Mm. I kept thinking, two okay. hours drive, I kept thinking. <laughs> so you're thinking about how to make up? Yeah, how really? can I make it up? Because I felt so bad. Why did I say no? What did she do? I mean, just sitting on my seat, big deal. <laughs> <laughs> the car is not mine. <laughs> you know, but so when the old man, when we're getting off the bus, and the old man said, uh, um, school girl helps school boy, I'm like, that's my chance. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's my chance. That's my chance, yeah. man. <laughs> that's my chance. <laughs> And then we got off the bus, like she said, I tried to get her, back in the day, it wasn't telephone number. No, no. Yeah. We're yeah. talking about 94 when we met. 94. 94. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. May 4th, 1994. May 2nd. May 2nd. Second. I always get it wrong. <laughs> I always get it wrong. May 2nd. He tried though. Okay. It was close. It was close. He <laughs> right, tried. It was close. And, and then I was trying to get her address. And then uh, we, I didn't have a pen. We didn't have a paper. <laughs> and then the taxi driver said, oh, I have a pen. Yeah, yeah. And then the bread seller said, I have paper. <laughs> Where are you guys from? <laughs> you know? And that was it. I got home. I didn't write to her. I stayed home, I think, two weeks. I didn't write. And, mm. and then, but you um, were still thinking about her? And why you, I, why you turned her I down? Really, really, or you moved on? I didn't really think about it. Okay. But when I was about to go back to school, then I thought, oh, hey, this lady. Okay, you know what? Let me write. Let me scribble something quickly. So I wrote something and left it for my sister to post. Okay. So if my sister hadn't posted that letter, pro that probably would have been it. Wow. So my sister posted it. Okay. And then like, while I was in school, I got her reply and I melted. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I'm curious. <laughs> now you're curious. Your first letter to her, what, 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 were you apologizing? What did you say? I think I was just thanking her. Mm. Yeah, I think that was what it well, was. me off the bus. Because okay. I had luggage and then I was limping. So she, she practically helped me get a taxi and all of that. that was, mm. I was just thanking her. Mm. And you received the letter and thought, oh, this guy is thoughtful. He still remembers me. Isn't what, that what? cute? <laughs> 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 is that not what you people do? <laughs> no, I, I, um, I, I really can't remember. It's been so long. But I, I wrote back. Okay. And then he wrote, and he wrote several pages more because he, he used to write a lot. I mean, he wrote like 10 pages. Really? Then yeah. The, uh, four different envelopes. So you, that's like 40. So you number one, two, three, really? four. Really? And then you go to the dining hall and they'll mention your name. When you get up, you go and take your letter. When you come to that, they call you again. <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. It was all yeah. from him? It was all from him, yes. He writes that much. I think he used to write about anything and everything. And, and that's how we actually st we started. We talk about anything and everything. Yeah. So it was, all, it was a lot of letter writing to start with. Unfortunately, or fortunately, there were no um, emails in, in yeah, those days. And I kept, I, I kept the letters, all of them. I had yeah. a box full of them. Yeah. So I think we got married and I was moving from my dad's house. And I said, Master, you got to come for your stuff. Yeah. 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 What are they now? No, they are, they are collector's item, though. Oh, they I cannot auction them. I kept them. I know, I don't think it's love letters. They, no. they cannot be auctioned. <laughs> they were in the chop box, right? Yeah, they were in my, my chop box for a long time, but I have no idea. I mean, now if he has anything to say to me, he has to say feely feely. So, yeah, so no I'm not letters. going with letters. <laughs> <laughs> you, you like writing like that much, or do you have so much to say? Oh, oh let me add that. And anytime he writes, his, um, his, the address part of the letter would be this, a song. Uh, yeah. So he would write something maybe from Phil Collins or some. That's how he begins the letter, and then he had this really nice handwriting. So he would take his time and pen. Oh yes, he was like. <laughs> the things we do for love. The things we do for love, man. Yeah. At what point did it start looking like this? This this would take a a, a, a different turn. I think it was when she sent me her first picture. Mm. Yeah. She sent me a picture in the mail. I received it. You know, you know surprisingly, um, 
and this goes way back, it, it's still present. I don't remember face easily. Mm -hmm. I've got a really bad memory when mm -hmm. it comes to remembering people. So I wasn't sure of her image. Okay. You know, it was still vague Yeah, in it was mind. very vague. I couldn't really remember that look. Okay. But I remember the eyes, though. Okay. Because the, the eyes, for some reason, they've popped up a little bit. They used to be like really <laughs> yeah. small. small, like a slit. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. That's how I started, you know, having your kids and getting big eyes. <laughs> okay, <I'm opening. laughs> so it was the eyes I really remembered. So when she sent me the very first picture, which I still have, yes. Wow. We have, we have pictures that we exchanged back in the days. We yeah. still have the pictures. We have the, album. Okay. we have the album with all our old pictures, okay. but okay. not the letters. And uh, I looked at it for a long time. I kept staring at it. I went everywhere with it. Prep, instead of me studying, I'm looking at, looking a picture, at the picture. And I'm writing, I'm writing, I'm writing. I, I think that was when it dawned on me that I think I like her. Mm. You know, mm. That, mm. That's how it started. And I, I just kept writing, like she said. I didn't really propose like that and say, hey, I want you to be my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. Nah. We just wrote, and the feeling was just mutual, and it just grew and grew. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> And it was great on both sides. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily for you, yeah. Luckily for you. <laughs> <laughs> when did you realize that? I'm not really... For me, I think it was sometime in, November, in September. For me. Because mm. we came on vacation in August. Mm. And then we met for the first time after that, the, the first yeah, meeting. I came to your house. And I think that was sometime September. Or August. August. But and I remember, I remember the month, the letter that I got that kind of went beyond friendship. And mm. that was in October. So yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Mm. And that was in October. So that was actually what, what one... What to say? No, I think then he was talking about how his feelings for me, mm. um, kind of, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it was what, you. It was what you were those really feelings, bad. if one may ask? <laughs> you know, you know, like how you, you I mean, stuff like... <coughs> I, I was I wake up in the morning thinking about you and I something well, some stuff like that. Well, he's asked for words. He's good with words. I wrote a lot. I wrote a lot. I listen to a lot of uh, love songs, yeah. so I will steal the lyrics here and there and try and make it my own. You were plagiarizing? <laughs> no. <laughs> I made it my own. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm even right. more impressed, man. You know. Wow. I wrote a lot. Wow. Wow. Mm. Well, guys. We are going to have more fun here. We're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, Van and Ajwa in the house. It's going to get sweeter than guinea fowl. It's the KSM Show. The KSM Show.